Hey guys and welcome back to Toleco. As in the last episode, I'm joined by Free the Bear. So, hey Bear, how are you? I'm doing good and how are you? I'm doing fine, thanks. This is your part, what we are currently seeing of this episode. So why don't you explain a little bit what you're doing right here? Right, so over here I'm building the transfer table and the whole episode is going to be based around the storage track, the transfer table and the break run you're going to see here. And, and not to forget the backstage uh, area. Yeah, exactly, because many people leave out the backstage area or basically rush over it a lot in their projects. And we wanted to try something else and do a little more detail work on there as well. Yeah, right. Uh, because we think that the backstage area is very important for um, the overall impression of a park and the coaster in general. Yeah. So you're using art shapes for walls instead of walls, which leads us to a problem, I guess. Mm. We should talk a little bit about uh, the 3D gizmo because yep. <laughs> in my opinion, it's, it's a pain in the ass right now. So Yeah, the 3D gizmo is, I don't know since when it is the case but it is very weird lately when you select multiple objects and it totally leads off axis and yeah gives you in both axis directions uh, totally weird shapings and stuff and i also recognize that if you have a single object like let's say a window piece and you move it on a straight axis it's not really straight it's a little bit off which is really weird to me why that happens yeah it's really annoying for stuff uh for example the custom supports yeah when you move a beam like 10 meters on the track and it uh it's off slightly and it can really ruin some support work and really bring on much more time than it actually takes to make support yeah same goes as i said earlier for the walls because uh, you can see it in the video uh, later on we are using windows as walls because um it's more detailed flexible i guess yeah it's more flexible and detailed and i don't know you can come up with um smaller shapes and go off grid and it's it's kind of more useful i suppose yeah, as I said earlier, the slight off-angle stuff which happens to it. And it's really annoying uh, because it's hard to get uh, it perfectly aligned. Mm. And I guess it's a bug. And to be honest, I've got no idea why it isn't fixed already or if it already has been reported to, to Frontier. So, yeah, oh, I, I'm pretty sure it is. But um, yeah. They haven't fixed it in a long time. Yeah. We've seen multiple updates without being a fix for this, and it's, it's pretty weird. Yeah, I really hope they will fix it soon. Uh, hopefully um, in the, I think it's April update, right? Yeah, I think it's April. The big, next big thing, and so, yeah. Hopefully they fix it at that point. Oh, by the way, um, another point about the roller coaster. It's, it's pretty sad that the RMC cars are already sort of themed in the game in mm, general yeah um i mean it's not bad that they give us a theme car already which has some details but um what a theme brings with it is it's fixed to that theme very strictly yeah. and i don't even know what is the theme for that car <laughs> in game it's uh, i totally have no idea what it is <laughs> to be honest. i mean it's not really a theme being in the game anyway so it's it's I don't know, I've, I always prefer the generic cars from RST3 or other games, mm -hmm. just because you aren't strictly um, set it to a theme already with the car. And Yeah, it's quite limiting. Yeah, it's kind of uh, breaking um, the immersion of the coaster as well when you see it on screenshots, because it doesn't really fit the theme at all. Well, at least give us the opportunity to change the color, which isn't possible right now. Yeah. And it's kind of annoying to have a green track color, but um, the cars are stick to the red. So at the moment, we are starting to build another backstage building, which is sort of going to be a watch house, I yeah. suppose, a guard house, something like that. And <laughs> maybe it's a little poly waste doing it fully custom, but um, oh well. It totally is <laughs> poly waste, yeah. Yeah, but um, at first done a really good job on it. Well, it was your building first, but I was uh, annoyed that it's... Uh, yeah, <laughs> I suppose I kind of rushed it. <laughs> yeah, you kind of did. Well, Edfo majorly fixed it and he did a good job on it. 
Uh, thanks, but as I said earlier, it's, it was your idea and you built it first, so I just uh, made it a little bit bigger because I was kind of annoyed that it's just a <laughs> box. So, well, it is just a box right now, but yeah, you got me there. And referring to that street again, I, I suppose we're going to continue it leading somewhere else as well. And speaking of Edfo, are we going to see a parking lot in this project? Good question. Um, should I build a parking lot? I mean, I could do that, but um, to be honest, I don't see a real reason for it because it's not a whole park. Is it? I mean, yeah, technically it's not, but um, I could see one being back there where the street is right now. The one leading to the backstage area. Well, to be honest, I could add a parking lot just for the immersion mm -hmm. of it being a park. Uh, so, yeah, why, why not? Great. I mean, we could let the viewers decide if I should build a parking lot or not. So, yeah, I suppose the viewers could comment down below and let us know if you guys would want to see a parking lot. And yeah, sure. if you guys want to see it on camera, because I suppose it's going to be a little more work as well and being pretty repetitive. It's very repetitive to build a parking lot and it's a lot of work, but the last time I built a parking lot, it was um, off camera as well. So yeah, I guess it could be a nice thing to see how it was built. Mm. But yeah, it's up to you guys. So um, right now I'm building of tower right for for our um, city walls mm -hmm. we're going to build um, to close or to separate the coastal layout a little bit mm -hmm. so um, our idea was to separate the coastal in, in a way that the station uh, will be themed in a small town I guess and um, the general track or the rest of the track is more in a um, landscaping environment. The outback. Is a, the, the outback, <laughs> correct. So yeah, I'm currently building the, the tower for the city walls and... Um, a quick point here, this is probably one of the reasons why we choose the windows to make walls, because we can actually integrate the actual windows in this case in the wall. Yeah. And right. Also, Ed Foot did a light, slightly slant on the walls, which I find really cool. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see in the video because you have no straight reference to it. Yeah. Um, but I think you could have seen it in the point where the normal wall is still existing over there. But anyway, yeah, we, we choose the, the windows to slant it a little bit because we thought it would be a cool feature to have. So as you can see over here, you can get a slight impression on how the actual architecture is going to work out. Mm. And later on, you're going to see some red accents on the wall right here. But it's only going to be the city wall having those accents. Um, you can see it right here. The actual... Oh no, I removed them. Oh, <laughs> rip. But they're going to be there in a second again, I suppose. And yeah, well, the city wall is going to have some slight red accents and having those beige tones on the wall. Mm. And the city is going to have slightly more lighter walls, um, almost white. Yeah. And some blue accents. By the way, the red accents are there yeah. again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We, we thought that um, the city wall is more of natural colors so beige brown reddish things but the city itself is more a little bit more colorful not too colorful i mean it, it won't be a, a rainbow of colors but yeah <laughs> i think it's very uh, cool idea to separate it a little bit or uh, experimentate with uh, the theme so as you can see over here edfo is doing the most efficient poly waste ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, yeah. jokes aside though, those little pillars you have seen there being made completely custom are actually really cool. Thanks. I really like them. Thanks. Yeah, I made them uh, with the wall... Uh, no, what is it called? The, the wooden, the wooden brackets, brackets, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I tried to use art shapes, but due to the fact that those don't have any textures on them, it looked a little bit odd, so... They look very bright in most cases. Yeah, yeah and they're kind of reflecting the sunlight or the lights in general, yeah, it's, so... it's pretty sad. You can't really integrate them in many buildings at all. Mm. 
the fact that they are pretty reflective and don't really work out with most textures in the game. Yeah, you can use them for uh, small accents, but that's basically mm -hmm. all you can do with them. And so I used uh, the wooden uh, brackets, which isn't, to be honest, not the first choice or the best choice, but the only way I could mm. do it, I guess. But in my opinion, they turned out quite okay. -ish. Yeah, they look pretty good in my opinion. So, yeah. But yeah, let me uh, talk a little bit again about the architecture. Um, we thought we changed the architectural style a little bit. Um, coming to the city because uh, we thought mm -hmm. it, the, the straight up African style is quite repetitive because you can't do too much with it and because we thought it's um, it's quite hard to represent a whole continent with just one architectural style so our idea was to to go a little bit in a north african tunisian moroccan is it a word <laughs> i suppose so style um, of buildings closer to the station and to the town yeah right? i think we can talk about that a little more in depth in the next episode yeah i totally agree. and i think it's about time to call it a day right in this episode so um thanks guys for watching and see you next week and mm -hmm. i guess on free the best channel yeah correct bye guys bye